how you doing? Hey, I'm John Maduco. I'm president of Connecticut Community College. Nice to meet you. We are in, it looks like God's country, so a very beautiful background. Uh, thank you so much for meeting with me. We actually had graduates for the very first time for CT State back in December, right? And you were selected as one of them, right? So like, I have the privilege and honor to actually deliver you, hand deliver you, your diploma. And one, congratulate you for obviously finishing your studies, but also to just thank you, right? Because you are a testament to the hard work and sacrifice and dedication of all of our students and really just the power of education and what it could mean. So just again, thank you so much. Open and make sure like your name is spelled correctly <laughs> and everything, you know. The beautiful thing about higher education is, you know, once you gain your credential and your degree, you own that for life. If you don't mind if I sit, I kind of just want to kind of like just pick your brain and just, uh, why Mohawk Mountain? I really just have always found a sense of peace and serenity up here. It's yeah. always been a great place to kind of just get away from um, all the extra stuff of life, I guess, and just really hone in on studies or whatever I get, kind of want to get away from or focus in on up yeah. here. What was your experience like at CT State? And in terms of your major, what made you choose the major you chose? I went to Northwestern Community College. I knew I wanted to go into the health field, but I wasn't entirely sure. Yeah. And after doing more exploration yeah. through the different classes, I was able to decide that I definitely do want to stay in healthcare. I got an Associates of Science degree in the Behavioral and Social Health track. Tell me about your experience with our, with our staff, with your fellow students, and also our faculty. I found the staff and students really helpful and welcoming. I remember even when I first started out, I thought it was really cool how they have the welcoming uh, days. They do that yeah. um, through the school. Now for those thinking about going to college, what advice do you have for them, especially when it comes to, should it be a university, should it be a community college like CT State? What, what, what words of wisdom would you share with them? I would 100% recommend starting off at a community college like CT State, 100%. Yeah. Because not only does it give you kind of that financial flexibility and also kind of gives you more time to decide what you want to do. If you're not exactly sure, you can, you don't have to jump right into yeah. necessarily a specified field of study necessarily like at a university. Tell me about your support system. What, do, what, what does your family think about obviously your, your recent accomplishment? I think that they think it's awesome. Me and my family, I feel like we've gone through a couple rough patches, but I know that they love me and yeah. they uh, are definitely really happy about everything that's going down. I want you to realize that you're a part of history, right? Like we are, we're one of the newest colleges in the country, though we're large and big, like it's, it's historic. So, you know, <laughs> 10 years from now, 40 years from now, right? You can look back and say, hey, I was one of the first graduates <laughs> at, at Connecticut State Community College. My elementary school is closed and not the same elementary school anymore. My middle school is about to be closed. So it's cool to be the start of something, the start of something new rather than being one of the ending classes of something kind of closing out. That's awesome. Well, you know, on behalf of the faculty and, and staff and administration, we're proud of you and thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you. And thank you for coming up here too. Yeah. I know that was probably um, uh, a haul to get up here for yeah, everybody. Look, look, we are in Mohawk uh, Mountain. Never knew of a Mohawk Mountain. <laughs> never knew where it was. But now I can check off my bucket list. So thank you. Thank you for that as well.